Two weeks of testimony in the Chad Daybell trial. The defendant's family members took the stand, including his mom. Daybell could face the death penalty if found guilty of murdering his first wife and Lori Vallow's two youngest children. Vallow, Daybell's wife, was found guilty of killing her kids last year. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum joins us now with what happened in court today. These are pretty pivotal witnesses. Exactly. John, Christina, the capital case intensifying in the courtroom today. We saw Chad Daybell's mother, Sheila, take the stand to discuss her surprise when she first met the so-called doomsday mom, Lori Vallow, a month after the death of Tammy Daybell. Notice that they had these rings on and my husband said, are you engaged? And they said, no, we're married. Were you surprised? Yeah. Did they tell you when they had gotten married? No. Sheila Daybell didn't have much to say as she faced her own son in court, her testimony lasting less than 20 minutes, but it also said a lot. The defense then pointed to Chad and Lori's seemingly opposite personalities and how Chad is more introverted and had less experience with romantic relationships, to which Sheila confirmed. Lori's children, J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan, were found dead in Chad's backyard in June of 2020 after missing for several months. Tammy Daybell died of asphyxia in October of 2019. And then Heather Daybell, Chad's sister-in-law, testified, telling the court how she was concerned about the self-proclaimed doomsday prophet's alleged beliefs several years ago. She told the court how Chad's alleged visions led to moving his family from Utah to Rexburg, Idaho. He indicated that there would be an earthquake that would be happening and in 2015, and he was kind of making us aware and preparing us for all of these end times events that were going to happen and, and cause a lot of destruction in Utah, in particular Salt Lake. This morning, we also watched Kay Woodcock, the grandmother of J.J. Vallow, as she took the stand and talked about how she became more suspicious as she tried to get in contact with the seven-year-old who had gone missing in September of 2019, which leads us to the full body cam video we're now seeing of Lori Vallow during that welfare check a couple months later. We have all of that footage on our website, fox10phoenix.com. As for the trial tomorrow, we continue to share the live stream on our YouTube channel, Fox 10 Phoenix. I'll be providing live analysis during breaks and interact with those following this case closely. Scan the QR code on your screen for more information. I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigates.